What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more My Hero Academia Season 7. Today we're doing episodes 3 and 4. Very excited. Don't forget, if you guys want the full uncut versions of this show as well as everything else on the channel, check out that Patreon down below. And if you guys want to come over and watch this live with us, come on over to Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius, who watch all these live before we post them on Patreon and YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell. I'm not going to waste any more time. My Hero Academia Season 7, episodes 3 and 4. Okay, this is episode three. It's all right, uh, don't call him other me. Definitely one of your biggest obstacles. Many routes for a single goal. I do like that. Many, many. I love the way they visualize that. Not all plans meet that goal, but the ones that do, he chooses the most efficient route. Wait, 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 wait. Are we saying invisible girl? What is he? Hug or what are we saying? Hagakure? Unless it's another invisible girl. I love seeing the classmates get to work. Shout out everyone. Everyone has made very steady progress to all their quirks, powers, everything. the sweat off Deku he uses to ignite. That was pretty smart, I won't lie. I won't lie. Literally in the world. That old nuts. Yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> it's not just you anymore, Deku. Your solo mission ended last season. Wait, Aoyama? Wait, are we saying the traitor from season one that we've been wondering about this whole time leaked? That I thought it was a teacher this whole time that I was wondering, is it Vlad? Is it Nezu? Is it... Is Aoyama? Is that what we're saying? I was worried about Hagakure because they're showing her, but no, she's eavesdropping out Aoyama, who's been snitching from the jump. I do at least appreciate the fact that their family's being held hostage, and it's not because he wants to, but still. Girl, I'm not going to lie to you. I would have taken those gloves and boots off. I'd be butt-ass naked. There's no way. You were born with Auna Quirk? All for one gave him one? was quirkless so because of that it's like taking money from a mob boss now your family is theirs you know yeah that is that is a crazy way of conceptualizing that taking a quirk you know for a loved one. that's weird but like interesting how yama is the literal last one i expected I feel bad for Aoyama because his parents, this is for him technically, his parents did this, but like, oh no, what is going on? Did he hear any of that? Yeah, 
クズのヴィランタ。Quite literally, besides like Deku is the last person I would have expected to be the traitor, literally. それ、バレたらこちらがまずくなるんじゃねえのか。ならないよ。君は百円ライターがつかなくなったら。You throw it away. To call one of your spies like that a hundred yen lighter is insane. That's crazy. Yeah. The kind of situations they grew up in. From a desire to conform. ママンとパパンが僕にしてくれたようにあの置き手紙で君が僕と同じ無個性だったと知った時僕は何もかもに決めろ絶望したんだそれでさシャウトアウトハガクレイ that can reflect refract light but like what the fuck is going on Oh, are we gonna see what in Hagakure looks like? This is getting so serious. God damn. I remember that being said, and I was so. That's crazy. You would have literally gotten you all killed. The fact that you're not all dead is crazy. That's the thing. All for one's the kind of guy who won't tell him anything. Like he said, they're literally 100 yen <laughs> lighters. All for one's the kind of guy who can find you literally anywhere. Yeah, he's the grim fucking reaper. Yeah, I appreciate the parents taking responsibility. It is 100% their fault, but... That's the craziest part, bruh. Ooh, that's a good point. He went out of his way to risk himself to save them. Megan at the at the uh, exam as well. You know, he was the beacon for them. Wow, these are some great. Fuck your shit. People deserve second chances, you know. This is exactly what Aoyama needs right now. For safety reasons, I agree. That's a good point. If we, if Aoyama tells him, hey, Deku's about to be here, he's about to be alone, ain't nobody about to be with him, he could set all for one up for the biggest trap of his life. That was a fast ass episode, I swear to God. All right, this is the next episode, episode four. Aoyama's so surprised that they're still able to support him in this situation when he's been nothing but betraying to them, you know? Because they know it's not a black and white situation. They know it's gray, you know? I think what Deku said... Ooh, shout out Ida. I think what Deku said really is important. Even though he's forced to do this, he's going out of his way to save people, you know? Alright, class president. Five howitzers. 
That's pretty fair for what, what was happening. Five houses. Was the essence of a hero. That's a good point. We can't just ask them to lie to him. If they lie, they'll die, so. Oh, I didn't even know Aizawa was listening. Wow, that's crazy. He raised her head, who's known for expelling, cra you know, excessively. So even if they wanted to lie or wanted to know they can't you know what is the plan of course we're not gonna hear it that's a good sign that means it might work that's a good sign okay not gonna lie if i was gonna be arrested for something like that it'd actually be a little bit cooler being being arrested with my family he said make it a little less stressful you know Especially after that with Aoyama, they got a new level of motivation, inspiration. Beyond what they already had, you know? What would that be? What's her name? What is her name? That's exactly what happened last time. Big boob support girl. Hatsune? It's literally the same thing that happened last time. Quite literally. <laughs> You're not in danger, bud. Boobies. <laughs> Is that power loader? Yep. I haven't seen him in a grip, man. Evacuation zone flight system? Oh, she's me. Oh my. He's going crazy. I do really appreciate that. They can't fight, but they're super important to the overall protection, you know. I like it, so they take that just as serious. So they're not as good, but she was able to make something. And his armor? Okay. W support, look at Ida's glasses caved in on his face. <laughs> Mount Lady? What's up, girly? Oh, change their faces, please. Okay. She's grown on me a lot, no pun intended, since episode one, you know? Hero course, class 1A. Let's do it. Kansai, meanwhile, around the same time, Edgy Ray. What are you doing, girly? Am I going to see? I like her new haircut. Okay, Tamaki? Sun Eater? Let me see Mirio too. Come on. Bat Gum? Let me see Ryukyu. There she is. Exactly. Being on the backside of that, having to deal with being attacked. Ooh. Love seeing I love seeing the gang again, man. Shout out Neji Ray. Shout out Fat Gum. Shout out Tamaki. Shout out Ryukyu. Those are Star and Stripes men. W having them on. Jigaraki. And all for one. Oh, 
So we have to separate them? I fully agree. Yeah, because it's a conceptual thing. Everyone knows him as all for one. He even knows himself as that, so. 10 kilometers? That's a, a 100. Minimum, though. And I was literally just about to say, Davi, Toya. They just draw fire everywhere. An eraser head? That's the one thing. I might not 100% uh, Aoyama, but I 100% trust eraser head. Yeah, if he had a bomb ready for uh, liars or snitches, he wouldn't need to plant that seed of fear, you know? That's a good point. These might be the greatest group of friends a person can ask for. That, that, that hurts coming from him. Can't twinkle like them. Ooh. I always liked Aizawa from the beginning, but it's crazy how he's like one of my favorite characters in my hero, you know? Mm. As he thinks of present Mike and his homeboy. Whether he gives up an eye, whether he gives up a leg, whether he gives up his body, his ideals. As I was the goat homeroom teacher, man, I tell you. He's up there with the Kakashis for me. Share the, share the load, share the responsibility. Exactly what they were saying to Deku, man. We share this burden together. Come on, come on. Story of how all, we all became heroes. Man, I have a feeling shit's gonna start getting crazy soon. All right, so if you guys see some subs in the corner, my man Layson just absolutely gifted some incredible subs. So huge shout out to the Twitch and the community. Huge shout out to these episodes. I miss my hero. I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping we would finally get the reveal of the traitor. I've been hoping that for seasons since episodes in season two or three, but the fact that it was Aoyama was just such a shock to me. The fact that we're able to flip this on his head and actually use this in a very beneficial way, but still make it emotional and, and low key make us get closer to Aoyama is a very well thought out way to handle this traitor. Like I really like how it's a traitor, but it's one of those situations where he did it forcefully very much against his will. And it's his parents fault. You know, it's like it gets very deep. And they understand it's not black and white, it's very gray. So I appreciate this episode for touching on that. Appreciate the season. Deku as a character, I love the whole essence of being a hero, butting in when you don't need to. There's so much going on. It genuinely does feel like the climax of my hero for seasons is being built up to this. We're getting there. I'm ready for it. We're going to separate the guys, separate the villains, beat some ass. I'm here for it. I am very, very, very excited. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes. If you did, uh, come over, check out the Twitch, watch this live with us. Like I said, it's always a vibe. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions of these reactions as well as everything else to put on the channel. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day to ever squad. Peace out.